Hello, in this video I will show you how to extract mandarin orange. These are a small QT mandarin orange. So how to extract the orange oil from the peelings and I already have extracted here orange essential oil from mandarin. So I will show you how to extract this orange essential oil from my custom made homemade uh, steam distiller very simple very easy hello in this video I will show you how to extract orange essential oil from the orange peeling so I'm using uh, these uh, small oranges and uh, here I have collected some uh, fresh peeling and uh, others are two or two days yesterday and they are all in the shade they are not in the in the sun and same way I have collected some more here you can see they are I'm drying these uh, orange peeling from last uh, uh, one and a half month so and these are all peelings are dried in uh, shade without any sun so I have total I weigh all these they are little over half a kg so uh, we'll try to extract essential oil orange essential oil in my custom made home style pressure pressure cooker using pressure cooker as a steam distiller so first uh, I will take this pressure cooker and then another thing I have this uh, kind of a filter it's an aluminum I just cut it uh, from the bottom and then make a hole make a gauge so I will put this in this one and then I'm using another uh, this is a strainer so I just take it out the its gauge and then putting here in this and then I will add some I have some uh, RO water clean nice clean RO water if you have distilled water that will be really good but uh, RO water will also be um, work as same as same so I will add water here so that you can see it should not come uh, above the this uh, uh, lid so now you, I can start fill this with uh, my orange peelings and let's see how many I will fill it so these are the f uh, some fresh one and now I will use uh, or these dried one so fill as much as possible so that I can close the uh, lid completely probably I have to do in two times this pressure cooker look like already filled and this will be enough so I still I have low you can see a lot more so probably I will use the second round one more time and then I will close the pressure cooker lid let me see if I can fill more here I'm just pushing down as much as possible and then fill more that will be enough so let's uh, close this uh, pressure cooker and then uh, will set up on the heating so now I put this uh, pressure cooker on the oven um, hot plate and I started heating and now here is my condenser is ready you can also watch my previous video I am giving link here how I make this uh, and how it works so here I have a copper wire and uh, 
I fill this bucket with water you can see it's cold water and nothing is coming out from this outlet I just put a stopper from inside as well as from outside so it's very good perfect and now I have this uh, plastic uh, tubing which I will put on the lid of this pressure cooker so once it will start steam it will take uh, oil from the orange peeling and it should come in this one will condense and then uh, I will collect it uh, here so I will wait for till it is start now you can see it is start boiling and then vapors are coming right now and then I just hanged it uh, this uh, tubing so that right now it, it was falling like that so I, I use this uh, rubber and now you can see it's uh, really boiling steam was coming very fast so next thing I will use here so I have some I cold pack so I will put it in the this uh, bucket so that what ice pack so that this water remain cold and then I have uh, here you can see it start making some noise so I have this uh, drop dropping funnel you can use any other uh, glass container to collect the out output so we'll just uh, hold it and now you can see this start boiling very nicely and whole rubber tube have vapors everywhere and here when I'm touching it's really hot it's getting hot so you can see this uh, the steam will be coming and this steam will condense in this condenser probably it will still take uh, two three minutes or maybe a little bit more then it will start collecting I will show you once it will start oh, okay so very good. now you can see this uh, the steam it start condensing and it's dropping in my dropping funnel and I have collected this much this is called hydrosol so this will have some oil as well as water it will take some time to separate but we'll collect first this is 125 ml separating funnel dropping funnel first I will collect in this one and then we'll show you how to isolate from here the system is working very nicely you can see it's making very good sound also the steam is really coming nice in this one and uh, it's uh, condensing this copper this, this water is really on the top is hot mm -hmm. and water is also hot here yeah, so yeah, probably yeah. I need some more ice pack here I have to fill some more ice pack you can also add uh, ice if you have but I feel this uh, ice pack will be better mm -hmm. We will show you next uh, how much I collected in the hydrosol. Right now it's collecting. So now I can see I fill this bucket with a uh, ice pack, more ice pack. And uh, this is pressure cooker is giving so much steam here. And let's see how much I have collected so far. 
and uh, you can see it's uh, dripping very nicely and this much hydrosol I have collected let's see once it will fill then we'll extract it it's very easy to isolate any essential oil using this simple homemade steam distiller so now you can see this uh, dropping funnel is almost getting full so I should remove it and then uh, we'll leave this for um, over the time and then uh, I have another this uh, big wine glass I will collect next fraction in this uh, um, so next one still it is working and I have a lot of ice pack here and you can see is making nice steam and here you can see very nicely this dripping so let me show you what I will do with this one so I will leave this dropping funnel this is hydrosol I will leave this for probably overnight I will leave this overnight so that oil can come on the top and then uh, water will be at the bottom so next day I will easily separate these two so okay so now I have stopped this uh, heating and let's see how it looks like inside the pressure cooker very nice and these uh, peeling can be used as a fertilizer you can put them in the and here if you see this uh, wine glass let's have very nice oil floating on the top so I will also keep this uh, so that all the oil come on the top and then we'll separate it so this was the extraction process the steam distillation of orange peeling for orange oil orange essential oil okay so now you can see this uh, is overnight and very top you can see some kind of dark layer and this remaining water is here you can see uh, very closely I will bring it this uh, dark layer now you can see better so we will uh, use this uh, dropping funnel to collect this water in the same container now you can see this oil is also coming but slow So this uh, we have to collect this slowly and I am collecting all the hydrosol in this uh, glass. So here is very important thing once you see which is almost uh, we have to stop it. Now you can see very closely there are two layers one is very small oil and then uh, water so I will drop very slowly little bit more water and then you stop it and then I have this here brown bottle to collect the oil so these two three drops of oil this is 
we got it over here we have oil orange essential oil from orange peeling now we can use it anytime just keep it here is one more thing that uh, um, I can also use hexane or you can also use a vegetable oil or uh, mineral oil or grapeseed oil to extract the oil from this hydrosol so shake it with the oil and let it separate either you can take it out from the top or just do the same way separation so that is the another way so okay so this was the orange essential oil extraction from homemade steam distiller